no great U.S. tour would be complete unless you saw Yellowstone National Park. There is so much to see at Yellowstone that we decided to spend a week exploring just a small portion of it. Between world famous historic lodges or camping in our tent, we're gonna show you the places we stayed at while visiting Yellowstone. Bordering three states, Yellowstone is primarily located in northwestern Wyoming. Yellowstone covers a huge area, but most tourists stick to this figure eight route. Having just come from Jackson, Wyoming, we drove north and stayed at Old Faithful Village. In the village is the Old Faithful Lodge. Located right next to Old Faithful, we stayed in this frontier cabin. Accommodations are kind of rustic. It has a double bed, a bathroom with a shower, but there's no air conditioning, there's no microwave, no TV, and no internet service. Just step out the door, and Old Faithful is scheduled for any moment now. So, no better way to enjoy our cereal. Also located in Old Faithful Village is the historic Old Faithful Inn. This is the Old Faithful Inn where we're staying for one night. The inside is pretty incredible. Let us show you. Here we are at the Old Faithful Lodge. Inn. Inn. And we're checking in. There is Old Faithful. So they come in the door. this clock. The clock and the fireplace are part of the original 1904 construction. Look at all the wood. The ceiling rises to a spectacular 77 feet above the main floor. Most of the wood is lodge pine collected from the surrounding area. Here's where we came in, registration. So we're upstairs. Oh, there's the bear pit. Yeah, the bear pit looks like it was either some restaurant or lounge. And as we found out with all the National Park food places are closed, they offer takeout. We are staying in the original part of Old Faithful Inn on the first floor. There's a second floor with rooms as well. Looking at the inn from the outside, it looked like I could go all the way to the top. Unfortunately, that turned out not to be the case. In 1959, there was an earthquake that twisted the upper structure. And so these steps go up and up and up. And on the very top of the inn, there's a crow's nest or what we call widow's walk. And you can see out over the park and unfortunately, because of that um, earthquake, it's now unsafe for all the numbers of people that come here, millions in a year. I would love to. And you can see these windows are prominent uh, on the front of the hotel. Let's show them what? Like all the oh, gnarled Look up. at this woodwork here. And like how these cactus looks, you know, just the so these railings look, look at this curve here it goes up to be a supporting structure and it's just this kind of structure everywhere the wood i'm having trouble uh, um trying to decide if it's actually fabricated that way it's got to be or if they found pieces By the way, there's no elevator. Unfortunately, we're on the first floor. <laughs> Fortunately for Eric, because he did all the heavy carrying. Oh, wow.
This is an example of mission furniture. This piece was used to write in your postcards before mailing them. Look at this hallway. I mean, it's, it's wide and it's plain. In the old house, the individual rooms did not have their own bathrooms, so you had to use the communal ones. Here's the women's. So we have both toilet and shower here. Nice. Your room, madame. Oh, wow. Oh, we have robes. So a little nicer than, than our room last night. Definitely has more character. I mean, our room last night wasn't bad by any means. We did have a bathroom in the room. Look at this little bear. Grass. So cute. Copper. I don't know if that's probably a connecting door, I'm assuming. But look at that. You got a radiator in the room. Oh, yeah, see Let's see out the window. Do we have a view of anything? Oh, we have a view of the parking lot. Eric's not going to like it, but I want to leave that open for a little bit to get some air in here. There's our room at Yellowstone, the Old Fateful Inn. Here's our window. We couldn't see this last night because it was dark. We could see the parking lot. I was a little worried about having a room with no toilet and shower, but it was a perfect room. I really enjoyed our stay here. There's Old Faithful Inn where we stayed last night. That's the ground floor. So we're up on the first floor and our rooms were right there. Right there, those three windows. I'm so upset I didn't know so, there was, I am so upset I didn't know there was a tub room. Oh yeah, there's a tub room. So right I took down a shower there. last night. Thank you. <laughs> but I would but I would have taken a bath. So I you walk in. I would have taken a bath. Oh. By the way, I'm covering my mouth because I lost my tooth. This is granny. She's been smoking too many corn cobs. Talk so good. Hold your pipe. <laughs> I had my pipe would fit right through there. So anyway, we're sitting here in this beautiful area here. They closed the main deck, and we've just been wandering around. And, and look, right over here, there's Old Faithful. And we've got this beautiful spot here. And we're not even guests anymore. We registered, we checked out earlier today. <laughs> we've had our morning coffee and ice cream. So we're all hyped up and ready to watch uh, Old Faithful. I don't want to move what? on. I want to stay here forever. It is. <laughs> We're at the um, Old Fateful store now, but look at all the knots in the wood. And even here, I'll get that hopefully when we leave, but... I do love all the knots. Let's see Eric surprise when he sees our place. Keep going, keep going. Are you okay? That's fine too. There we go. <laughs> we left Old Faithful Village and drove to the eastern side of central Yellowstone and stayed at Canyon Village, a campsite where we stayed for two nights. We are out at the Canyon Village of Yellowstone. They have this old retro style, and I say it's retro, but actually it was made at that time. And it's called Project 66. And it was to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Park Service here in Yellowstone. At that time in 1966, people were kind of tired of the um, rustic style. So they did it in this modern style. And this one still is around, and it is so cool. It's got a big fireplace. Look at this chair. Love 
that chair. Anyway, you got a gift shop over there. This is all one long cafeteria. It's the best variety of food we've seen at any national park. So I talked about the uh, Project 66 where they updated everything in uh, 66 for the 50th anniversary of the park service. In here, instead of going with the rustic look, they decided to modernize. And so here's the design they did. And it's like I said, the inside is so great. After setting up our tent, we went out and saw some more sights. And then we settled down for the evening by the campfire. Leaving Canyon Village, we traveled to the far northwestern part of the park and stayed at Mammoth Hot Springs Hotel. While cabins were available, we stayed in the main hotel, and it was very modern, up-to-date, and had one of the very few restaurants in the entire park that was open. The room was very comfortable, and like a lot of the parks, they had these cute little teddy bear soaps. We're driving this loop to Mammoth Hot Springs, past Mammoth Hot Springs, and we had to stop off here trying to get a signal. At Yellowstone, there is no signal to be had. It for is- For Sprint and T-Mobile. Yeah, for Sprint and T-Mobile, which is what we have. I guess the other ones are okay. But we had to stop here, sit in a parking lot, because we had one bar. But with that one bar, Wendy was able to make a, another camping reservation for up here, so we can extend our visit. And the reason why we have to extend it is because we had to take time aside and while here, Wendy made a reservation for a dentist in Idaho Falls. So as we're driving through Mammoth, we just noticed herds of elk. Any place to stay in Yellowstone is a treat, but be warned, make your reservations well in advance. Otherwise, you'll just have to be persistent and check for openings daily.